Somebody who always makes it, Mr. Weatherby. And today, I shall demonstrate the proper manner to fell a tree. <laughs> the most important thing is... Uh, thanks for showing us the ropes, Mr. Weatherby. And now... Uh, gee, George, it's going to be tough sledding on the show today. How come? No snow. <laughs> Next on the show. And now, here he is, back again. Reggie! Sorry, Reggie, but we're out of time. Uh, hi, uh, Big Ethel here on how to catch a man. Um, oh, well, there goes my man, Jughead, on his bicycle. Hmm, he's got a pretty good head start. Well, this calls for secret weapon number 38, the old giant slingshot trick. <laughs> well, then, of course, there's secret weapon number three, the old platform attached to a pulley on the school rooftop trick. When Juggy spots those hamburgers, he'll come running out of the building and onto the platform. And then I'll pull him up to the rooftop. Oh, there's the dear boy now. Come to me, my precious. <coughs> well, however, you may prefer secret weapon number 47. The old skydiving into the backyard trick. Now, the important thing is to time this jump just right. Then count ten and pull the ripcord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A, a word of warning about this trick. Don't count on it too much. Thunderbolt Theater. Quick, trippy, gag. And now for a couple of dillies. Dilly, dilly! <laughs> Juggy, what smells best in the bakery? Your nose. <laughs> Sometimes Jughead is a real crumb. Knock, <laughs> knock. Who's there? Have it. Have it who? Have a little kiss, baby. <laughs> Now that's a switch. Someone given a pain to Reggie. <laughs> if your father made $100 a week and gave your mother half, what would she have? A fainting spell. <laughs> hey, what has one horn and gives milk? 
Mm -hmm. A milk trick. <laughs> if you guess how many pies I got, I'll give you both of them. <laughs> you dummy. Two. Now let me have them. Don't go away. The show's just beginning to go downhill. Reggie, act like a gentleman. Sorry, I don't do imitations. <laughs> uh, no, I'd like to rock Reggie to sleep with real rocks. <laughs> Moose, uh, do you know what a messy sculptor is? You sure, a dirty chiseler. That was a cutting remark. What animal has two humps and is found at the North Pole? <laughs> a lost camel. <laughs> no, that joke is a lost cause. Admit it, I got a lot going for me. I think it all went. That joke is hard on the stomach. One thing about Miss Grundy, she has a fine carriage. And the face to pull it. <laughs> Mmm, I resent that. Do you know why fish are so smart? They go around in schools. Well, that joke didn't stop the show, but it sure slowed it down. I invented this powerful glue, but I can't use it. Why not? I can't get the top off the bottle. Uh... <laughs> Would you like your hair cut? Uh, just take a little off around the shoulders. Is this cab engaged? No, but it is going steady. Um, Miss Grundy's life is so dull. She looks forward to dental appointments. <laughs> Boys, we don't have time for the drill team. And now, let's look over Betty's shoulder and see what she's writing in her diary. Dear Diary, yesterday I met Archie at the roller rink. I was wearing my new skating outfit and Archie really flipped over me. Hi, Archie. <laughs> Diary, he told me I'd make a wonderful catch. Betty, why don't you go chase yourself? And today, Diary, Archie and I went sailing on Riverdale Lake. It was a beautiful day for boating, and Archie loved the picnic lunch I made so much that he couldn't find words to express his feelings. Oh! <laughs> of course, Archie isn't the only one who's crazy about me. Reggie thinks I'm out of sight. You know, Archie, I never could see Betty. But Archie's the one who really gets me up in the clouds. Yeah, I wish he'd go fly a kite. Until next time, Diary, I remain truthfully yours, Betty. Yeah! And here's our boy inventor, Delphin Doily! I am about to demonstrate my latest invention, the Dilton Doily fully automated steam-powered back scratcher. <laughs> I throw the computerized instant snowball switch, the snowy sphere is discharged through an open window, knocks off a grumpy old man's hat. In a half, the old man shakes his walking stick so hard that the handle flies off and sails into a schoolyard, hitting a teeter-totter, propelling a corn fritter out of a lunchbox, where a passing sparrow picks it off in midair. However, the fritter is too heavy for the bird to carry, so he drops it down the chimney. The fritter falls into the fire, and as it heats, the corn in it pops, one of the kernels landing on a scale which tips, licking on a switch of a vibrator which shakes up a bottle of soda. The pressure pops the cork, the cork hits the window shade, which rolls up, allowing the sun rays to be focused by a lens onto the fuse of a rocket. The rocket takes off, striking a wooden Indian, propelling a cigar out of his fist, hitting the clock hand. The cuckoo strikes the hammer, which drives a nail that pops a balloon, moving a feather, which nudges a ball down a ramp, striking a lever, which starts a crane, which slowly lowers a sleeping dog with a large hand attached to his tail. The dog sniffs the bone, dreams about eating, and wags his tail stopping in perfect position to take care of Mr. Weatherby's itch. Ah, wonderful, Dilton. How did you ever think of this? 
Oh, no problem. I simply started from scratch. <laughs> and now, here's the star of our show, the giant jukebox! There. Now, any more requests? Yeah. Try this on your piano. <laughs> But tell me you love music, Juggy. Yeah, but that's okay. Go on playing anyways. <laughs> ho, ho. La, la, la. When I'm singing, you can hear them cheering across the street. Why? Who's singing across the street? <laughs> hey, Moose, what's a ruler for? I want to see how long I've been practicing. The <laughs> la la lee, la la lee. I just love to sing in the bathtub. That's the trouble. You don't get enough practice. Archie, what would you do if two leopards, three lions, and two tigers were chasing you? I'd ask the man to stop the merry-go-round, and I'd get off. And then I'd be ready to hear our giant jude box hit, The Ways I Love You! Vibrations beating up my heart 
emotions Every time we meet Those crazy love vibrations Make me weak Yeah, baby I feel those love vibrations Happens every time I see you and your loving eyes meet mine I get that feeling Like my heart just fell Oh, don't you know it, honey Can't you tell Wish I could ask you I wish I knew Too. Oh honey, I feel those love vibrations Every time we meet Those crazy love vibrations make me weak Yeah baby, I feel those love vibrations The legs on this bench are too short uh, well, gee, they're long enough to reach the floor. <laughs> How do you like my guitar solo? Not bad, but I still prefer music. The audience would have loved your performance except for two things. Uh, what's that? Their ears. <laughs> Every day we breathe oxygen. What do we breathe at night? Uh, nitrogen. <laughs> do you know the name of the giant jukebox song coming up? You got me. It's called the Laughing Song. <laughs>
Archie's Fun House.